for taking a look at these American Craft brush markers. I picked these up on the cheap for 10 bucks at Marshall's because they said that they were brush tipped and they are water based. So, you know, that is an intriguing proposition for me. And they promised that this is a 24 piece extreme value pack. I don't know about the extreme or the value. Paint like a pro with brilliantly colored brush markers. So wait guys, let's, let's, let's dissect this. I am a pro. I am a professional comic artist and illustrator. I make the majority of my income from selling at conventions and doing tutorials for you guys. So they are promising that I can paint like a pro. Is this going to put me at the next level? Ah, I really hope so. Paint like a pro with brilliantly colored brush markers. These water-based acid-free markers are non-toxic and produce a smooth paint-like stroke. Brush markers are a mess-free way to make art projects, scrapbooking layouts, and everything in between. And here are are the colors included there are no color names and here is the brush it says it is an eight millimeter brush tip and this is produced by American Crafts which is a scrapbooking company that some of you guys might be familiar with and if I move too fast or if you feel like I didn't cover something properly make sure you check out natosoup.blogspot.com because I am also writing a review up there so if you miss something head on over. And this is not a reusable package. This is a very disposable package. And so that makes things a little, oh, sorry, you're seeing my phone because I'm taking pictures. That makes things a little bit complicated because you see, we have um, colors and they should be swatched because you can't really trust the caps, but they don't have names or color families. So if you mix your colors up and the color doesn't match the cap, there's not really a good way for you to keep track of what, what. So sometimes I have old um, marker or pencil color containers that have been outgrown and I am looking around for one that'll suit these and I am not finding one. So I guess I'm just going to have to store these fairly haphazardly, unfortunately, in a wonderful zipper mesh bag from my favorite store, Jerry's Artorama. So, and that was not a paid endorsement. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and swatch and take a look at these water-based markers. And I have reviewed quite a few water-based markers and I reviewed quite a few watercolor markers. So, um, you know, you guys are in fairly good hands and we're just gonna do these in order of what they are in here. And I'm gonna do that in time-lapse and then I will catch back with you. But we're gonna quickly take a look at these brush tip markers, which have a cap that is, okay. All right, so this is, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at a fiber nib, and I think you guys have heard me rail about fiber nibs. We're looking at a cap that looks like it should post, but it doesn't properly post on either side. So, so you know, they're saying the color of memories, and right now my memories are colorful with expletives. I don't think that's the color they want. So we're gonna go ahead and start swatching and I will check in with you guys after. Alright guys, so I want to show you something up close and personal. I tried to demonstrate these as I encountered them, but most of the fiber nibs on these pens were ruined before I even got to open them. So that does not bode well at all. American Crafts, you are not coloring my memories very favorably. These markers also just feel cheap, like super cheap. I wonder if they came in like a bonus pack or something where uh, 
you, I don't know, these are thrown in free. Cause that's like the only explanation I can have for a company that used to be well recognized making such subpar markers. So, um, I will, I am debating whether or not I want to do a field test because these are pretty terrible and I can tell they're pretty terrible just because the nibs arrived wreck, wrecked. They do not deliver paint like strokes. They don't, I mean, the stroke is like using a marker from Dollar Tree to be really frank. Um, I do not feel like more of a pro. I feel like, in fact, I lost some of my proness using these. I feel like they've absorbed some of my drawing ability. So that's unfortunate for all of us. Um, if I decide to do a field test, you guys will see a field test next. If not, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you at least got a laugh out of this video. I hope you skip the American Crafts, the Color of Memories brush markers. These things are terrible. I found them at Marshall's, so they certainly couldn't have been doing too well uh, for them to end up there. Marshall's tends to sell stuff that's like a season behind. So, um, if there's a field text test next, keep watching. You'll, you'll be able to tell because the marker will be at like half the video. Um, and if there isn't, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you check out the blog at natosoup.blogspot.com for the rest of this review. And I hope you consider subscribing for more of these reviews. So, mm, bye, question mark.